Hey guys, this is going to be my first unboxing of 2018. I hope everybody had a safe New Year's Eve and I wish you all a very happy New Year. Um, so let's get started. Um, I think I'm going to start getting into some more gear and stuff and um, as a result of that probably some more um, airsoft stuff as well. So I've got quite a bit of stuff ordered um, that's going to be here in a few days so I'll probably do um, separate videos for those or if they come in a solid time frame that I can do them in one video you will see them at once so this first thing um, is kind of more of a dual purpose thing I plan to use it for airsoft as well as I plan to use it for um, real steel um, with my real guns and stuff so I ordered this from SRS Tactical I think they're based out of Florida Here's a little thank you card with some of their information on it if you want to check them out. Um, what I ordered was very affordable and they had a nice coupon code around the holidays that I was able to take advantage of while ordering this. So there's that. Probably my order sheet and then we'll get this opened and you'll see what it is. So you can see there, it's Faro Concepts. This is the uh, Ferro Concepts Slickster. Go ahead and move this box out of the way for you. Take this out. As you can see, it's a very small package. So for the plate carry itself, it's um, a very minimalist uh, design. I was a little worried about the uh, color initially. Um, all the pictures I've seen, maybe just the way the c photos were edited, it didn't look like they used like actual ranger green, but I've got all this ranger green around me and it looks to be about the same. So that's good. I'm gonna take this rubber band off here. And I don't have plates for it, so I do plan to get some real armor plates. So if any of you guys have stuff that you use that's been um, looking for something affordable, and um, probably in like a swimmer or shooter cut as I'm a smaller guy and I think that would help quite a bit. So here it is, it's got the uh, carry elastic cummerbund. Which is very nice. I was thinking about doing a Ranger Green JPC but I've had many JPCs and I kind of wanted to go for something a little bit uh, lower profile than that so this is what I have. Kind of like the um, the coyote interior with this mesh uh, padding. There's the uh, tag for the Slickster. They make these in medium and large. Uh, they make them in coyote, black, ranger green, and I think SKD might have their exclusive color in multicam black if that's your style. But uh, I'll have to play around with it. I ordered some dummy plates. Um, those will be here in a few days, hopefully. I ordered those um, from Hong Kong, I believe. They're like some FMA plates that I haven't seen before, so I'll do a video on those. So I think they started making some, some better plates. But uh, I think I'm going to play around with different setups, but you have these four little cells of in the elastic cummerbund that you can carry stuff in. I've seen people put radios in them. I've seen people put... <clears throat> little bags with medical supplies in there and of course uh, magazines so definitely be playing around with that open this rear plate bag it does have a some slots at the bottom to I think carry a, a tourniquet in there you probably run some elastic straps for your tourniquet and kind of hang it off of the plate bag there but I'm not sure if you can see all that well in there Looks like it does have somewhat of a retention system for the plate while it's in there. Like that and then what's kind of cool is the um, I'm not sure what that's for actually. Oh, this is the uh, tool that to help you adjust the shoulder straps. So the shoulder straps actually go into the plate bag. So this is a really tight channel so that when you're adjusting the shoulder straps. You, uh, you would need something to separate the hook and the loop. So you would just slide that in there 
and then adjust the shoulder strap to the length that you want it, and then you can pull that out and it'd be velcroed shut there. So the straps, very minimalist, kind of just just a webbing material, like a velcro material. So I may go for some shoulder straps. I know Ferro Concepts have some nice looking shoulder pads um, that I've seen people put on these, and then there's the the SKD pig shoulder pads. I don't know if they still make those, but those were always minimal and I liked the shape of those and I think those would probably work pretty well here as well. As far as that, I did order the uh, chasm buckles. These are not included with the Slickster, so you have to order these separately so that you can attach a, uh, a chest rig or like a panel. A lot of people are making panels now. So you would slide these in there. I'll go ahead and do the other one just so you can get an idea how it works. And uh, this will look a lot better once it has plates in it. Uh, but I don't have any right now, so we'll have to make do. As far as uh, chest rigs, I do have my Haley Strategic D3CR, and it, it's working pretty well, but I've been seeing some Instagram photos of a Haley Strategic D3 Micro, and specifically I saw a picture of one set up for an MP7, and it looked really good, and I think it was attached to kind of a slick style plate carrier, so I think that's on their Instagram somewhere. But here is the D3CR, and for this plate carrier, this chest rig, as small as it may be, is going to be pretty wide on this plate carrier. It will hang off a little bit. I'm not going to Velcro it down, but I will clip it in to kind of give you an idea of the size and the footprint of the D3 chest rig on this plate bag. Yeah, it, well, once the plate is in there, it will fill out quite a bit, but you will have a little bit of an overhang. So it's not it's not too bad. It fits pretty well, but I think that that D3 Micro or one of the Spiritus systems, the uh, their Micro Fight Rig or whatever they call it, might be a better option for a minimalist plate carrier like this. So uh, this is kind of just. Um, unboxing for you not really messing around with it too much yet I don't have plates for it but you guys will see this in the future I think this is the plate carrier that I'll use um, for both my real steel stuff and then probably once I get the micro rig I haven't decided which one I get I'll probably get the Haley strategic one just to check it out it looks pretty nice and then I'll do a video on that and that'll probably be what I use for the MP7 so I'll just have like a dedicated plate carrier that I can swap out the um, chest rig and stuff on and then most people a lot of people put stuff on their back panel for their plate here but I think I'll probably just use this uh, cry precision ABS pack and in, in, in the case that I would need um, to carry more stuff on me so there you guys have it um, Ranger Green pretty much everything is Ranger Green now um, thanks for watching hope you guys have a happy new year and I'll see you next time